All right, so this is just a quick demo of how to use Power Automate to send a basically send a mail merge uh, with an attachment. So uh, I have a folder here in my OneDrive um, called Mail Merge Demo, and in that folder I have two files. One is the PDF that I want to send as the attachment, and the other is an Excel file that I called recipients. It could be called whatever you want. It The re only requirements is that it is a an Excel file in the latest version of the Excel XLS X format and that it contains the um, the information that you want to use for the mail merge. In this case I simply have two columns name and email and they need to be in the form of a table. So uh, basically, if you don't know how to do that, you would highlight the text, the, the data, and click Format as a Table. Choose any style. It doesn't matter what style you choose, as long as it is ends up in a table format. And by default, Excel will call the first table in every spreadsheet or workbook Table 1. Uh, so in my case, I just have name and email and that's going to be perfectly fine for what I want to do. Now I already have the flow built out here but I'm actually going to take a step back and walk you through building this from the ground up. Uh, but this is essentially what we're going to end up with. It's going to be a flow that we run for a selected file in OneDrive. So we'll select a file and then we'll go to the automate menu and say run this workflow and the file that we're going to run it on is the attachment. Um, I guess you could do it the other way around and run it on the file with the recipients, but to me this made more sense. So essentially you could call it email this through mail merge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but basically if we're going to start for a selected file. We're going to get the file metadata using the path because this trigger is going to give us the path to the file and a few other bits and pieces but not all of the content we all of the metadata we need so we're going to use this get file metadata using the path that's coming from that trigger and then we also in order to attach it as an actual email attachment we need to get the file content uh, so this is sort of daisy chain so we're using from the trigger we're getting the path from the get file metadata using path we're getting the file identifier and then the file identifier is used by this get file content to actually get the file itself because we need the metadata and the file content to attach it and then uh, there's another step here where we're basically reading the rows in that table in that Excel spreadsheet um, and then actually this compose doesn't need to be here that was just for testing so let me delete that and then we have an apply to each loop which basically is going to cycle through each row that's in that table to send an email all right so let's see how we put this together so i'm going to go over to a new tab here and say we're going to create a new flow and i'm going to call this uh, select instant cloud flow and in the trigger section select for a selected file OneDrive for business and I'll call this send file as attachment through mail merge it's kind of wordy but descriptive and then we click create so again we, we are not going to add any inputs here we're simply going to say it's running for a selected file so now we need to use the get file get file metadata using the path uh, is important to because there's get file metadata and get file metadata using path you want to make sure you're using the one that says using path because we know that the file path is being output by that trigger and that's what we need and now that we have the metadata which produces the file identifier we can use the get file content action 
and the unique identifier is going to be the ID that's output by the get file metadata using path. So you see how we're doing this. We're just building upon, you know, one, one action is building upon the previous one. All right, so now we've got essentially the file metadata, the file content. Next thing we need to do is get our recipient list. So I'm going to click new step and select Excel online business. And I want to use list rows present in a table. And then we need to select where that file is. Uh, so this, this connector can work with files in SharePoint as well as your OneDrive. So if it's a file in, you could do this with the file in SharePoint as well. But again, we're keeping it simple here. I'm keeping it in OneDrive. So I'm just going to select OneDrive for business. Document library when using OneDrive for business is simply called OneDrive. And then the file, um, basically I'll click the little folder here and navigate to the file that we want to, that has our recipient list, which is going to be in mail merge demo. And it's called recipients. And then table should turn up table one. Now, if you get to this point and it doesn't come up, then it means there's no tables in that spreadsheet. Go back to this spreadsheet, make sure there's a table, save it, exit it, and come back here and you should see the table there. All right. So that gets us our recipient list. And now in the, uh, the next step we want to do is send an email. And just for simplicity, you could, there are a number of different email functions, actions that support attachments. I'm going to use send an email v2 from the Office 365 Outlook connector. Now, just understand that that means that this is coming, this message is going to be sent literally and physically from my Outlook mailbox. So it will show me as the sender. When the person gets it, it'll say that it is from Chad Keeley, ck76 at drexel.edu. Uh, if you want to send it from another source, like maybe you have a shared mailbox, something like that, there are other actions you could use. But again, we're, we're keeping this simple and basics. And if you were doing a mail merge any other way, that's exactly how the, ma the mail merge would be sent. So not a big deal. All right. So uh, we need to specify a recipient. And I'm going to click on Add Dynamic Content. And from our list rows present in a table, we have the email column. Now you'll notice when you do that, it shoves that send email action inside apply to each. And that's fine. That's what we want because essentially what this will do is send an email, you know, basically it's going to cycle through that list and for each row, each email address, it's going to send an email, send an email, send an email. Now one thing to be aware of is that when you send it through this method, through Power Automate, there is an API throttle limit of, I want to say it's 300 uh, API calls per minute. So if you have, if you're sending it to 200 people, not a problem. It'll send it under, it'll, you know, send them all pretty quickly. Maybe not under a minute, but pretty quickly. If you are sending to more than 300 people, it will basically send the first 300 and if it has sent more than 300 in a minute, um, then it'll, or, or if it gets to, if it's, you know, less than a minute time before it gets to 300, then it's going to sit and wait for that threshold to renew. So it, and, and it, you would think that it would be, you know, it'll just wait for the next minute. Um, it may wait two minutes, may wait five minutes, it may wait 10 minutes. Bottom line is it will eventually finish. Now, if you were sending 5,000 uh, messages, this wouldn't be the most effective way to do it, but you could do it this way. Um, it would just take a really long time for that mail merge to run. Uh, but anyway, in this case, we're only sending it to like six people, so six addresses, so it's not a big deal. Now, within here, so we've already got the email that is from the email column in our list rows present. Um, now in the subject, we'll say we can actually use the name field. So there's our name. So I'll say name 
here is your PDF. And then in the body, we can say, please see attached document. Uh, now, in order to see the attachments, we need to show the advanced option. And because attachments, you can have multiple attachments, um, we're going to basically just piecemeal add in the attachment name, which is going to be from the get file metadata. We'll select the name there. Uh, and then in the attachments content, that's why we need the get file content step to get that. And then you might also want to set the importance. By default, it will set the importance to low. So if, unless you want it to be low importance, set it to normal or set it to high. Um, but that's one thing I've learned is that if you don't set the importance explicitly, then it will default to low importance. Um, you could also enter a separate reply to. So maybe if you know the, this won't change who the message is coming from, but it will have any replies redirected to some other address that you provide. Now, technically, when you show the advanced options, there is a from field. Um, the catch here is that you need, uh, when if you want to send um, from a different address, you do need send as permission or send on behalf of permission to that mailbox. So you can't just throw any email address in there that you want, you actually need permission to send from that mailbox. Uh, I'm going to leave that blank. And that's it. So we hit save. So literally that took, what, six or seven minutes to build that out. And I am ready to try this out. So we called the send files attachment through mail merge. If I go back over to my document library here. I'm sorry, not my document library, my OneDrive. Uh, I'm going to select that PDF that I want to send. And I will click on the, oh, I need to click the three dots and then automate. And wait a second for it to show up. Send file as attachment through mail merge. Select that. And then it's going to say, do you want to, well, what it's going to ask me first to accept or allow uh, these connections. So I'll click continue and then run flow and done. And if we go back there, I'll actually we'll leave from there and then we will see that that is currently running and it's finished. So again, this was only sending seven email so it went very quickly if you're sending 300 or more it will take several minutes at least to send um, but if we expand this we can see here's the first one so if my the name in the first column was gmail if i go to the next one it'll say personal and the next one will be han and the next one will be chewy but basically you'll you'll see all of the the emails that were sent uh, as part of this flow so there you go that is one way to send um, the same PDF attachment to multiple people as in sort of a mail mergey way using OneDrive Excel and Power Automate so hopefully this is helpful um, give it a try let me know how it works and have a great day